Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Gaffrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about the closed presidential race, a drop in fuel prices, and more. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, and this is the lunch break. Before a modest crowd gathered on a Pioneer Museum grounds, former President Bill Clinton addressed a diverse and enthusiastic gathering of Immokalee residents on Tuesday afternoon. Clinton discussed the value of so many hardworking immigrants who came to this country and have toiled and struggled for their sliver of the American dream. The former president remained for a lengthy period upon completion of his speech to take selfies, sign autographs, and chat with a seemingly endless gathering eager to shake hands or say a kind word. As the caustic presidential race lurches toward the finish line, each candidate is aggressively casting the other as a catastrophic choice for the White House. Making an affirmative case about his or her qualifications and vision has become a secondary priority. It's an ugly conclusion to a contest featuring two of the most unpopular presidential candidates in modern American politics. The sexual assault accusations that have trailed Trump in the race's closing weeks and a new FBI review into Clinton's email habits seem likely to only reinforce the public's negative perceptions, leaving the candidates to essentially argue to voters that they're the best of two unappealing options. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. A drop in fuel prices over the last week was not enough to catch up with the end of an over two-year-old trend that started earlier this month. Gas is more expensive than last year. According to the American Automobile Association, the national average dropped by one penny over the last week to fall to $2.21 per gallon on Monday. On Halloween 2015, it was $2.18. Fuel prices traditionally start to work their way down as the summer ends and refineries switch to cheaper to produce winter blends of fuel. But October has seen prices hold firm as prices exit the month at the same point they entered it. Drivers in Florida have been paying more at the pump ever since the disruptions caused on the East Coast by Hurricane Matthew earlier this month. While prices did fall this week by two cents, the state average falling to $2.23, that's still nearly a dime higher than the start of October and 13 cents higher than a year ago. The average in Lee County stayed virtually flat over the last week at $2.20, while drivers in Collier are paying an average of $2.27 per gallon. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.